What's going on guys? It's Simo. So today I wanted to bring to you a card discussion on Link Karibo, the brand new Shonen Jump exclusive card. And if you haven't already checked our mailbox today, you might want to do so because some players have already been getting their hands on these. Now, a bit of caution, at the time of making this video, I'm not sure when Link Karibo will officially be legal for tournament play. And I know some of you guys might have regionals this upcoming weekend, so be sure to ask your head judge to confirm if Link Karibo is in fact legal for your tournament. But before we get into Link Karibo, because there's a lot to discuss with this little card, I did want to shout out my newest patrons as always. So big shout outs to Luca, to Daniel, to Zachary, and to Savio. And if you guys want to help support me and the channel by contributing to Patreon and allowing me to bring you Yu-Gi-Oh! content on a daily basis, then check out the Patreon link in the description below. But let's get into Link Karibo. So for those of you who don't know, Link Karibo has an effect that reads as follows. When an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can tribute this card, change that opponent's monster's attack to zero until the end of this turn. If this card is in your graveyard, as a quick effect, you can tribute one level one monster, special summon this card. You can only use this effect of Link Karibo once per turn. So, Link Karibo has a lot going for it. Now, you could say it has the stipulation that it requires the use of level one monsters, but typically that isn't going to be too big of an issue because there are a lot of powerful level one monsters that we're going to be covering in this video. Most notably, at the current time of this video, the strongest deck of the format is Spiral, and Spiral Quick Fix just happens to be a level one monster. So why does this matter? Why is this a big deal? Well, for a couple reasons. First off, when it comes to Spiral Quick Fix, a lot of the times you're able to resurrect Quick Fix without needing to use its effect to banish or uh, excuse me, to discard a card to special summon it back to the field. You're then able to remove the Quick Fix to get it back into the graveyard and special summon Link Karibo, meaning you can now use Quick Fix's effect, assuming you have a super agent, to discard a card, special summon it back, and you essentially now can go into a Link 2 play, but you're also going to net the advantage that Quick Fix provides by being able to search more spiral gear cards and adding them to your hand. Sometimes you want to get that Quick Fix off the board just so you can get the extra search or just maybe get another monster on the board so that you can link up into something bigger and Link Karibo is a card that allows you to do that. There isn't a card like Link Karibo that's ever existed because it only requires one level one monster as Link material because we've had Link Spider but Link Spider requires the monster used for its summon to be a normal monster so that has a much heavier restriction compared to Link Karibo, which allows you to use any level one monster, so that's a really, really big deal. So enabling more searches for Spiral is, you know, of course what everyone is looking forward to, and another thing is that the fact that you can use Link Karibo now over Link Spider in a lot of different applications. Another one would be in the instance of Gofu the Vague Shadow. Gofu's tokens that are created, while they're normal because they're tokens, are also level one. So you can pretty much brush that Link Spider off to the side and now play Link Karibo, which is pretty much just the more better option in general. And now Link Karibo can be used to summon in place of one of those tokens. And it allows making plays like going into Ningirsu, which requires two Link monsters, a lot easier. Sure, in the past with Gofu, you could just use the Link Spiders to make your, uh, you know, your proxy dragon or however many Link monsters you wanted to make and then level up into Ningirsu, who requires two Link monsters specifically, equaling a total Link rating of three. But now with Link Karibo, it becomes a lot easier because now you can use your other level one monsters as well. You can also use your Spiral Gear Drone. You can use your Quick Fix. You're not limited solely to those Link Spiders that you're making off of those Gofu tokens. And you have a card that actually does something in comparison to something like Link Spider because you're not running any normal monsters in your deck to fulfill Link Spider's other effect as, you know, somewhat practical as it could be, so the effect of Link Karibo actually gives you some sort of play and helps make your board a lot more resilient in battle. A lot of the times, a lot of Spiral players, if they didn't have a play, they might summon something like Quick Fix, get their search, and then they'll just pass their turn. Well, now they can actually just go into Link Karibo, which is very popular in the OCG, and then they can end their turn. And that may not seem like a big deal, but the difference is you now have Quick Fix in the graveyard, which means it's a lot safer from being 
being removed, banished, shuffled back into the deck. There's so many things that could happen to that quick fix on the board that if you end on it, you're risking the quick fix pretty much being banished from the game outright entirely, and then you've lost a very consistent way to not only spam out Link monsters, but also to really facilitate a lot of your plays. So going into that Link Karibo not only gives you a little bit of a line of defense, but it also gets your quick fix in a much safer position that it's not as likely to get hit. Obviously, DD Crow and stuff is still rather prevalent depending on your meta, but risking the one of copy of DD Crow compared to everything that your opponent could have to hit it while it's on the field is definitely something you might want to consider. There's also a lot of other, I think people would call degenerate applications for Link Karibo as well, and I wanted to cover some of those just to show some of the potential that Link Karibo really has. So one of them is in tandem with a card like Thousand Eyes Restrict. One little cute trick you can do is you can instant fusion out Thousand Eyes Restrict. You can use Thousand Eyes to take one of your opponent's monsters and equip it to the Restrict, and and then you can immediately upgrade into the Link Karibo, and then the monster equipped at Thousand Eyes Restrict will be sent to the graveyard. So that's kind of cool if your deck already plays Instant Fusion in some way or another, so you kind of have a way to use Instant Fusion as a form of removal without getting locked underneath the Thousand Eyes Restrict. Now, sure, you could use it as Link Material for another Link monster, maybe something higher up the chain, but now you're not having to use additional resources. You can just immediately upgrade into the Link Karibo, you really didn't lose anything, but you also took something from your opponent at the same time. So it gives a card like Instant Fusion a bit more flexibility, and I think that's a really cool trick. Now, you also could just say, well, why not just run something like a Kaiju, which basically does the same thing, but at the same time, in this case, you're actually able to not really take a big minus in that case. You're able to take their monster, and you still have board presence, rather than your opponents having the Kaiju that you still have to deal with. While it's still using the same amount of card advantage. Another thing you can do with it is it actually turns a card like Glow Up Bulb into a one card Link 4, if you can believe that. Now, this does require the release of Crystron Needle Fiber, which we were going to get into the Link Vrains pack, but now we're either going to probably get an Extreme Force or maybe Flames of Destruction a little bit later on. We don't really know it right now, but what you can do is you can normal summon Glow Up Bulb. You can go ahead and just link up into Link Karibo. You can bring back the Glow a bulb go into uh, Crystron Needle Fiber, which is just a Link 2. Needle Fiber's effect is going to Special Summon Spore from your deck. Now you can make a Link 3. Then you can use Spore's effect to Special Summon it back onto the board and upgrade into a Link 4. Now it does require the Link 4 to have a generic requirement of only needing two plus monsters instead of something like Boralode, which needs three. But at the same time, the fact that Link Karibo turns Glow a Bulb into a one card Link 4 is just absolutely fucking absurd. Absurd, and there's some things that you can do with that that are just completely degenerate and some things that a lot of you guys might have a lot of fun with once you get your hands on Link Karibo. The last thing I wanted to discuss is Level Eater, and this is one of the big elephants in the room that a lot of people are really clamoring for the ban of Level Eater because of Link Karibo's existence, because Link Karibo plus Level Eater facilitates an absolutely absurd amount of stupidity that it definitely warrants level eater getting hit in some form or another. Now, what am I talking about? Well, if your deck facilitates high level monsters, so for instance, if you play like Infernoids, where you can summon stuff that's level 7, 8, 9, you know, 10, or maybe you have something like Blue Eyes. Blue Eyes is a good instance here because not only does it have high level monsters, but there's also level 1s, so you can facilitate Link Karibo in that deck rather naturally as well. What you can do is if you play a card like Level Eater, you can use Level Eater to essentially reduce the level of your high level monster that's currently on the field, summon a Link Karibo, re-resurrect the level eater because you still have that high level monster to reduce down, and then summon another Link Karibo, and basically what ends up happening is you start chaining together these Link Karibos, and you're able to basically make absolutely free Link summons because of the combo of level eater and Link Karibo. Now that's just a little bit nuts because it enables some extremely powerful OTK plays, with a lot of these decks. Now, you do have to, you know, question the fact that am I really going to run Level Eater in a deck like Infernoid or in Blue Eyes? Well, 
When it comes to Infernoid, if you're playing like a 60 card build, you're already playing a ton of cards that mill, so by having that level eater already there anyway, if that just happens to be one of the cards you mill off of something like Grass or any of your other mill engines, then that's just a bonus. You're able to summon something like Saitsamas, Atundo, or maybe even Deviati, and you can just go the fuck off, and your opponent really can't do anything about it because it's just absolutely crazy. So, those are just my thoughts. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about Link Karibo. I would really love to hear your thoughts. Guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like the video as always. Subscribe to the channel for more amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And if you found this video helpful, consider backing me on Patreon because just by pledging only $1 a month, you're investing in my ability to continue bringing you amazing Yu-Gi-Oh! content. So thanks so much again, and we'll see you next time.